A Beginner's Guide to the ICAR Test File First of all, ICAR has nothing to do with the new electric vehicle from Apple. The ICAR test file is a computer file developed by the European Institute for Computer Antivirus Research, or ICAR, to test the response of antivirus and anti-malware products. It's essentially a standardized dummy virus file that you can use to verify the basic functionality of your antivirus products. It's not a real virus, but almost all antivirus software will treat it like one and detect and block it as if it were malicious. These days, it's actually rather difficult to even download the files. There are four slightly different versions on the icar.org website. Most browsers should intercept the download before it starts, as you can see here, and that's actually expected and a good thing. Since web browsers like Edge, Chrome, Safari and Firefox are the main tools people use to get around the internet, it makes sense that they should be a first line of defense against malware. The ICAR test file was perhaps more useful in previous years when an antivirus program was considered to be sufficient protection in most cases. You would download one or more of the test files and verify that your antivirus software would catch it. The four files available from the ICAR site are icar.com which is an executable file, meaning you can run it in Windows, or attempt to. icar.com.txt, which is the same file but with a different file name. icar.com.zip, which is the first file but in a zipped or compressed format. And lastly, icarcom2.zip, which is the same file but then zipped again so it's a zip file within a zip file, which can be a little bit more difficult to detect. I also downloaded the first two files in Linux and used the CLAM antivirus program to scan them. Linux is not generally susceptible to Windows type viruses, but I sometimes use CLAM to make sure downloaded files are okay before I copy something over to our Windows PC. As you can see, the files are identified as malware, as they should be. Hey, thanks for watching this short discussion of the iCar test file. As usual, there are some useful links below in the video description.